Have a business card that's going to be useful to you. I found that having a business card for me as an individual rather than as a business is more useful. It also prevents you from having to make different sets of cards every single time something changes in your business, especially in those early years when you don't realize that your website name is going to change four times and your phone number twice. At big networking events, try and focus on one or two meaningful connections rather than trying to meet everyone. Quality over quantity. Lead with curiosity. Um, ask people about themselves first and foremost. If they don't get to a certain point where they ask you back, uh, just take the loss and move on, find somebody else. But generally, if you're interested in them first, then you'll get to a point where they ask you about you and that's your opportunity to be able to share who you are and what you do. I like to go into every networking event with a goal or agenda for myself, something that I set on the way there or prior days, um, something that I think about and kind of set a template for, but then once I get there, I kind of forget about it. Um, there's this great quote from Don Draper in the show Mad Men, where they ask him how he comes up with ideas, and he says, I think about it really, 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 really hard, and then I don't think about it at all. If you show up and you don't know anybody, then talk to the person who is standing by themselves and not talking to anyone else. We're there to meet and talk to people, and it always feels so good to be walked up to. The most approachable people are the ones with wandering gazes who are by themselves and have no one else to talk to. Make sure you offer a valuable experience. Intimacy and laughter and new information, knowledge, are really good ways of doing that. Uh, make sure that you have something to bring to the table if you want to participate. If you don't have something nice to say, then don't say nothing at all. I think of networking a lot like dating, which is that the first date needs to be fun and enjoyable for everyone involved. And from there, you get to know each other a little bit better. If you go to a lot of networking, then you build a strong network and eventually people start talking about you for you. Once your name spreads around, that's how you get kind of long lasting work and people start pursuing you for gigs rather than you having to go and ask. So go to as many things as you can, make a lot of meaningful connections and just keep at it. Follow up well with people. So if you made a meaningful connection with someone, text them the following day. Um, something about what you talked about or just follow up. Um, see if you can add them to your email list. I'll do that with acquaintances or the people that I don't make a great connection with is still just adding them to my network so that they stay in my circle without me having to actively pursue the relationship. As well as they can oftentimes be good resources or referral partners. Look for opportunities at every turn. Have no agendas, but make sure that if there's an open window, you jump right through it. Try and set up a one-to-one -one or a coffee or a beer with the people that you're actually interested in and have them put it down in their calendar. Like pick a day, pick a time, pick a place so that you're actually accountable to that rather than, oh, it'd be awesome to see you sometime. This is some advice that I got from a good business partner and client of mine, which is to ask, what are you seeking from this event? How can this event help grow your business? And what can I do to help? Don't be a business card handshaker. These are the people that um, before they even introduce themselves and what they do, they hand you a card. It's gross and it reeks of desperation and it's um, very impersonal. Don't expect business off of one meeting or event. Uh, it comes with time, it's a relationship business, and the longer you know these people or the more regular you're around, they see how committed you are, rather than just hoping for a gig off of one meeting. It does happen sometimes, but it's a lot rarer than you think. Don't worry too much about how you come across. Everyone at these networking events are nervous, and a lot of people have social anxiety and they just hide it. Um, so just stay true to who you are, make sure that you're comfortable, make sure that you're getting what you need out of it. No one is out there to get you. Um, we all just want to have a good experience and connect well, and so as long as you can kind of sit in your own skin comfortably, you're going to have a good time. In the vein of being authentic, uh, don't use too much filler talk. I have this problem a lot where I will just rant and ramble on things that I don't care about because I would like the experience to go well. Focus on the things that you actually care about. Um, if you're not interested in talking to someone, let the conversation kind of die organically and then go find someone else. Don't worry about your age or experience level. As long as you're honest and genuinely excited about what you're doing, you will attract the right people in any age range, in any different industry, or in any different demographic. These are just a few tips and tricks that I found over the years. Um, I got some good insight and advice from other people who've been doing this for a long time. Networking has this weight of association attached to it, of that it needs to be a particular thing, but what I found is, it's just an opportunity to make new friends. If you can find people who you're just genuinely interested in learning from and want new experience with, then I've never had a bad experience going in with that mindset. The goal is to be able to do life together. And if we're doing business, we're doing life, we're doing experience, and you wanna do it with those people that you actually connect with.